welcome viewers and fans to our first and potentially last episode of Down Memory Lane. Here with me is uh, Steve Eisen and Tony Hansen, the original creators of the Beer Liberator. Tell us a little bit about um, the Liberator and how it came to be. Joe's 30th birthday was coming up, so I wanted to make him a special birthday beer. I knew his favorite beers were Huma and Nicey back then. So I wanted to put together some kind of combination that would, uh, would capture uh, the beauty of both of those beers. I took a malt bill and a hot bill like Kuma and beefed it up quite a bit. Uh, took the orange and lemon zest from Nicey and added that in. Um, I wanted to add 30 hop additions since Joe was turning 30. A little timer that we had go off every four minutes and we would take turns slam dunking the hops into the kettle. Uh, and then when we had it in tanks, we labeled it as Stellar Ale. I uh, this secret beer was literally passing the beer underneath Joe's feet. A hose. <laughs> what do you guys transfer? Uh, Stellar. 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 Who made this? At first, I'm not sure if you were happy with this. <laughs> no. Well, then I, you tried it, and I think it. <laughs> I was proud. I was in between like two or three, like four different names, whatever. He was like, you should call it the Liberator, since Joe calls himself the, the original beer Liberator. I was like, that is the perfect name. I set out on this quest to liberate people, and by liberating people, we were able to teach them about craft beer in order for them to appreciate it. Hence, the Liberator. All right, so that's a wrap for uh, this episode of Down Memory Lane. We hope you'll join us again. Cheers, guys. Happy Liberator season.